हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे 15 ऑफ 60 पैसा द 60 डे प्रोग्राम ऑन अमेजन बाय इंडियन सोलर एकेडमी आई एम देव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू डे 15 वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रिसर्च वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मार्केट प्लेसेस वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट मेथड्स वी हैव टॉक वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ माइंडसेट बट अगेन आई गेस most of e-commerce relies upon a particular product the product that you are trying to sell and today's session is about the importance of finding that particular product so without wasting any time let's get started i am very excited for today's session and again there would be a lot of things to cover and it might be a bit of uh, you know too many questions too many answers for you but please go through the video again keep in mind those points and i'm pretty sure you will do uh, you know extremely well in terms of product research so that being said let's get started so why do people fail on amazon right and again if you remember or if you have been following me for a long time we had this session on clubhouse as well where we discussed about 20 points why beginners or sellers on amazon fail and out of those 20 i found that these five are the most important ones first of all in terms of listing quality you are not very seo optimized the listings might not have rich keywords listing quality in terms of images the product images might not be very uh, high quality or you might not be using all the images that amazon gives you an opportunity to use they allow nine images but you might be using only three only two so this is another area of failure and awareness about amazon terms of service i guess people are not aware if they should behave in a particular manner there are certain rules that amazon requires you to follow and a lot of times their accounts get suspended and they they keep blaming amazon as to you know that it's a bad marketplace but that is not the case you have to abide the rules if you're selling on someone else's platform and then marketing and presentation right now this is not presentation in terms of images but let's say if person a is selling a product and person b is selling the same product how can person b portray the image so that it looks much better much cleaner and much appealing right so and marketing is about advertisements how do you reach to the maximum people do you run ads do you create your own social media profiles what are the different areas where you speak about your brand so that's in terms of marketing and presentation and last it's again as i mentioned 50 to 60% of the e-commerce game is about the product that you have chosen if the vision and mission behind the product is strong enough and the product has a potential you have won the you have won half the battle already so today's session is going to be about importance of product research and we'll talk about the other four points maybe across the series but today we'll focus only on why product research is important and in the process i'm going to ask you a lot of questions and the answers to those question would be importance of product research okay so make sure you follow along and you keep in mind these questions very very much now product research and again when we talk about product research right the first thing that comes to mind is okay i have a product in mind and i want to sell it on amazon but you have to think it again because it's very unwise of you to be very emotionally attached with a particular product i have seen people saying okay this is a product that i have in mind i want to launch it on amazon i know that this product will do well it's an extremely popular product extremely demanding product and that is where you know you can be missing on a lot of data points data is very important and what happens is in some cases our emotions get ahead of the data so as i mentioned here emotions are dangerous similarly someone else told you that this product is doing really well in their case they might be doing it on your, their own e-commerce website or they might have seen it doing well in a different country and they said okay this is a good product maybe you should also try it selling on india and then you fell into the, fall into the trap and you sell it as well and then you you know there's not a lot of research that you do behind it and you feel that okay the product was not good or the marketplace was not good for you know getting you sales but that is not the case it's it's mostly how you understand the data and the logic and then decide and come up with a particular product 
and as i mentioned ecom is a numbers game right so uh, i guess no denying the fact no matter how emotional you can get no matter how good a product might might look or sound you still have to rely on facts numbers to tell you what is the trajectory of your particular product so again i i will keep reporting re- repeating this throughout the 60 day program and make sure you keep this in mind as well if you are not very good with data if you are not very good with numbers make sure you up your game there because that is very very important in terms of uh, e-commerce industry okay now we are coming to the questions the answers to which are automatically importance of product research right so kitna milega se kitna milega right and and this is very popular when we talk about calculating profitably profitability right for those who have seen this particular website kitna milega right it tells you what is your estimated profit percentage when you sell a particular product worth so and so at a price of so and so right so you provide the cost price you provide the selling price it calculates the different figures and then it tells you okay this is the profit percentage you can you can expect right but is kitna milega accurate it is not it does not cal- consider a few factors and that is where people mistake they they fall trap right and that's where the importance of product research lies right you have to be very important you have to be very sure that a particular product is giving you so and so profit right otherwise uh, it's going to be a false positive you might think okay kitna milega tells me you know i will get itna milega but it that, that, that does not happen to be the case now another three points that you have to mention and stick it to your head profitability is always more important than cash flow and cash flow is always more important than revenue we discussed about cash flow we discussed about revenue we discussed about profitability but give it some time what these individual terms mean what is your perspective of these individual terms and how this relation works for you right why do you think this is the exact equality sign or the inequality sign why is profitability more than or much more important than cash flow why is cash flow much more important than revenue do give it a thought and then again as i mentioned e-commerce is all about getting your maths right right there are there are taxes involved there are shipment charges involved there are return fees involved there is marketing fees involved if you get some of this wrong you might be thinking that okay this is a profitable product but you end up finding that it is not the case and that is where do not blindly follow kitna milega we will cover through a few examples why kitna milega might not be the best tool to provide you what is the calc- the profitability matrix so that, that's my take on this and again just why finding a good product or coming up with a good product in terms of profitability is so important moving on tools are not everything when you talk about product research right uh, i have seen people saying that okay i have heard this tool called helium 10 jungle scout viral launch merchant words uh, amc scout and there there are so many out there right uh, so many companies so many well established organization and, and definitely those tools are awesome but are they awesome enough for product research no they are good enough for keyword analysis they are good enough for tracking the lifetime of a particular product they are good enough for organic rankings versus uh, paid marketing rankings but for product research i do not consider them a great tool right do not rely on machines to tell you which product to tell and i'll go through you know why so i've heard of this tool called so and so and that that's why you also go with the tool right because you have heard of helium 10 jungle scout and so many platforms yeah right youtubers shout it they preach it because they are getting affiliate referrals they are getting bonuses they are getting money in their pocket right and you also think this guy uses tools right this is person who i admire in terms of amazon fba he is using tools so should i also use it yes i should use it that that's the that's the general mentality right but uh, i i i i see it as a tool is a, is a mechanical thing it's an algorithmic thing which applies a few formulas and gives the result now it is giving the same result to you and it is giving the same result to everyone else who is using the tool that's where the third line comes into picture but so does every other guy on this planet they are also using the same tools they are also getting the same products 
and if your products are similar to those you are just increasing the competition and then you will be fighting for price so not always rely on tools they are important but they are not the only thing people say okay if i go with tools they tell me products within 2 minutes 5 minutes it's so fast it's it's working smartly than working hard but again if you remember from my session on mindset right and if you go to the section where i spoke about smart work and hard work i said both is important and in this particular case putting in the hard work is much much more important when you when you when you follow me through the next 4 days of product research you will understand product research is a very lengthy process it's a very manual and lengthy process and that's what we are going to cover and again as i mentioned if you go through tools everyone will get the same product you have to put in some extra effort manually to figure out and find the best possible product for you and that's what also we will discover and prove the point in the next 4 days okay let's move forward and market analysis right when we when we think about importance of product research a uh, uh, a very important feature is have you done your market analysis have you done the research about the market that you're trying to sell and have you understood what others are selling right is sharma ji ka beta also selling your product should you sell what he is also selling can you sell what he is selling and how would you outdo him as a seller right so these are four important questions that you should ask if a particular seller is selling a particular product should you also sell that same product the answer could be yes the answer could be no you can at many times sell the same product as someone else is selling but add a different flavor to it or the other question should be even if you sell the same product that he is selling can you can you make it better can you can you do it better than what he is doing right so these four questions are very important any time you launch it make sure you ask this question should you sell it can you sell it and can you beat him right Th- these are in terms of competition and beating the competition and then you will understand why product research is so important why understanding what people are selling is so important pricing strategy another very important uh, factor right how to set the price of a particular product how to set a higher price of the product right when when everyone is selling the same thing you end up fighting for a price right you end up saying okay i will sell it at a minimum cost people please buy from me but then that that hampers your profitability to a large extent right and that's where you will have to focus on areas where you can increase or sell the product at a higher price right and often the question is okay they have understood selling at a higher price can give you good profit margins but how do i sell it at a higher price and that's a question that we will also discover and talk about a lot but it has to do with the importance of product research when to set a lower price of the product even that is important right do you do you do want to sell it at a lower price because then it is appealing to the customers especially the indian audience and when to set it is also very important it's not that you are going to do it for a lifetime but when to set a lower price and how can you increase the price is something that we are going to talk in very much detail in the next few sessions so make sure you have you ask these questions to yourself try to come up with answers and then you will understand the value the importance behind product research okay now what is the growth potential right when you when you consider a particular product have you asked yourself is the product capable of you know scaling up capable of bringing you the growth that you are seeking in the industry what is your mission and vision behind this particular product right can you create different variants of the similar product is it a evergreen product is it something that you you know you will sell it for 2 months and you are done or is it an evergreen product which you can you know launch Uh, throughout the years and with different flavors different variants here and there but again is it a constant requirement for your customers or it's something that you know okay use and throw and do you have a growth strategy right okay you launch it you sell it it's doing well but again how do you switch how do you switch from level 1 to level 10 right do you have a growth strategy in mind as well and that's where uh, importance comes in terms of a particular product is the particular product just a product for you or it's a brand for you is it a niche for you is how, how are you planning to capture the market 
that's where you know the growth potential comes into mind and you should always ask yourself what is the growth potential of a particular product that you have selected and then last but not the least when you talk about the growth we are talking about a niche right can your product fit in a niche think about this ask yourself the same question can your product become a brand can your brand produce similar products and can your brand capture a niche i'll i'll repeat them because they are very important can your product fit in a niche can your product become a part of a brand can your brand produce similar products like the one that you already sold and can your brand capture a niche that's also to be that's also very correlated with growth but again now we are talking about capturing a niche where you are talking about okay i i start with a fitness product i launch many other products similar to this product that i have already launched in the fitness domain now i have a brand people recognize my products with this name and can now my name get the fame in this particular sector in this particular industry so these are very important questions and all time to product research right so make sure you ask these as well and last but not the least the code for today is isa482 now it might not be very valuable to you this particular session in terms of information because i have not thrown a lot of gyan to you today i have just touched your heart and mind and i've asked you relevant questions which you might want to you know watch the session again and then ask yourself the, these set of questions every time to understand the product that you have chosen fits in these particular questions or not right so make sure and make sure you go to instagram comment task on the post and do the task that will help you understand and get more clarity on your product research skills as well that being said we will see you at 10:30 pm tonight on instagram and tomorrow at 10 pm on youtube that being said see you guys i am dev and signing off we will see you again on day 16 where we will talk about product research deep dive part 1 bye bye guys thank you